Hello, today we're going to create a drawing from a geocoded table. Uh, this is a classic task that people do in GIS all the time. We're going to use Manifold Viewer because Manifold Viewer is a free download. It's the uh, free read-only version of Radian. Uh, obviously everything we do that here, here in Manifold Viewer we can also do in Radian Studio. But because Manifold Viewer is free, you can download it and try out this process on your own at home. So let's start by importing a table and we're going to open uh, import this table called cities.csv. It's a comma-separated separa comma value file that we, when we import, we'll see that it's a typical geocoded table. A geocoded table is a table that has a latitude and a longitude for each record. So here we have the place name of uh, various uh, cities, and here we have the longitude and latitude for each. Uh, we're going to begin by making this table uh, read-write. The gray background indicates that it's read-only because it doesn't have an index on it. So let's click Edit Schema change the scheme. We're going to add an index. That new index we're going to call MFD ID. It's going to be a B-tree index, excuse me, underscore X. It's going to be a B-tree index. And it's going to be uh, indexing the MFD ID field. Click Add. Now click OK. You might ask, why does uh, Radian uh, not make tables automatically read-write when it brings them in? And the answer is to do that well, you really have to have an index on them. So if we're working with small amounts of consumer data, yeah, sure, you can create an index automatically. But Radian is often used to work with uh, data sets that are really big. You know, they might have a billion records in them. And in that case, you don't want to be creating an index unless you absolutely have to create an index. So uh, as a database tool, Radian technology kind of leaves that up to you as the consumer, uh, as, the, as the operator, rather, whether you want it or not. Be that as it may, we've created an index on the table. It's not read write. Let's add a geometry field. We need a geometry field in order to display this uh, as a drawing. So we're going to click here and choose, let's give it the name Geom, which is short for geometry. And we have a variety of geometry types here, like well-known binary and such. We're going to choose classic radian Geom because that's the fastest. Click field, add field, and now we have a geometry field which is currently populated with nulls. What we're now going to do is we're going to use the edit transform dialog to populate this geometry field with geometry that's computed from the latitude and longitude values. We're going to right click on Geom, choose transform, and here we have the transform dialog preloaded with the target field being Geom. The transform dialog has hundreds of templates that are displayed here in this uh, pane, main pane, in the list, depending on what field type we have chosen here. So for example, if we chose place name, which is an NVARCAR uh, type, it's a text type, there's many things here which options which have to do with uh, working with uh, texts, such as regular expressions and stuff like that, replace text and so on. We're going to choose the geom field, which is, which is, which is of type geom, and we're going to choose the comp point, compose point template. Uh, and the value for the x coordinate we're going to take from la longitude, the value for the y coordinate we're going to take from latitude. Uh, Radian will preview what it's about to do, uh, by showing, uh, showing the results in blue preview color. If we don't like that, we can just click close, close and nothing happens. If we decide we like what we see, we can click update field and the template will take effect. There, it's now done. So we've now populated the table with the geometry field. That enables us to right click on the table and choose new drawing. And it will accept the default name. It's going to be based on the city's table. For the geometry field, it's going to use a geom field. It'll create a spatial index. The coordinate system by default, pseudo Mercator, is not the one we want. We want latitude and longitude because the coordinates that we used were in latitude and longitude. So all that looks cool. Great. Let's click Create Drawing. There, we've just created the drawing called Cities Drawing. We'll double click it to open it and we can see it's a bunch of points that appear to be in the, more or less in the shape of continents. To see exactly where they are, let's put these into a map with a background layer. And to do that, I'm first going to create a data source called, uh, let's call it a satellite. And we will use uh, a Bing Maps satellite web server. Create the data source. Here's our image. Now let's create a map. A map has multiple layers in both Manifold VR and Radiant Studio. So we can drag and drop layers into the map. The map starts off blank. We drag and drop the first layer into it, which is going to be our satellite image layer. And then let's drag and drop the cities drawing into it. So we can see where all the cities points are. Let's uh, make those pretty by uh, coloring them. Edit style. Oops. I don't want to style this. I want to style the cities drawing layer. So let's click edit style. 
and let's change the color of that to uh, fill color to bright green. There. Now we can see where all the points are more conveniently. And uh, if we know Europe, we know, like for example, this is uh, this is Rome. Uh, here's Paris. There's London, and so forth. So um, that's how we create a, a drawing from a geocoded layer, geocoded table, and. Uh, Radian. There's an accompanying uh, video, which is uh, also should be in the library, which shows how to create a geocoded table from a drawing. We'll cover that next. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.